The National Heavy Boxing League is brought to you by Bonks Fun Box, one small box full of damn good fun. Visit their server at IP address 74.91.113.49, port 27015. Time to play network. If it's time to play, let's play together. Visit their server, The Ponytation, at IP address 173.208. Point two four five point two six port two seven zero four five new traders on the block feel like trading head on over to new traders on the block trade servers although they are shut down they still remain an important part to the national heavy boxing league thank you to new traders on the block for two amazing inter promotional fights you will never be forgotten the equestrian sentinels for them for us for equestria Free TF2 weapons, giveaways, contests, and more. Give hard, cry later. TF2 Alliance, a collection of high-quality, ad-free TF2 communities. Visit their website at www.tf2alliance.org. And by Taco Cat, where a man belongs. Visit their server at IP address 108.61.125.63.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
Whoever wins these matches will advance to the fourth annual Sha Sasha Heavyweight Championship tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central. Before we begin this epic matchup, let us honor both Soviet Russia and America by listening to both of their national anthems, starting with the Soviet Russian National Anthem. And now we shall honor the United States of America by listening to the American National Anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars Through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we watch 
were so gallantly to remain in the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Say does that star spangle banner yet wave or the land of the free and the home of the brave? Thank you to our donators. I love you. You love me. Spiron and Setup1337 for contributing to the prize pool of Season 4. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for the pre-commentating show. Gentlemen's Fedora, Clayface, the Green Sparrow commentating today. Now, gentlemen, it has been a very long season. We have seen many great fighters, and we've seen many great things happen. But it's come down to this. Whoever wins tonight's conference finals will advance to the one and only Sasha Heavyweight Championship, the biggest match in the National Olympic Boxing League. Now, this first match that we are going to see between White Russian Bear and Spotten. Now, you got Spotten, who at first it looked like he was going to lose in the first round to Private Scrat, who managed to come out on that. And then you have everybody in full opinion thinking that Metro is going to win and go against Russian once again in the conference finals, but no, Spotten came in and decided to shock the entire National Levy Boxing League and beat down Metro 3-1 to one in, the, in rounds. So now you have Spotten, a guy who's brand new to the NHBL and has managed to make it to the conference finals against White Russian Bear, the first rookie to win the Sash Heavyweight Championship and the runner-up for the conference finals last season. So honestly, it's a really hard decision to make with this match, but going on experience and excuse me going by experience and by how extremely talented white russian bear is i am going to put my money on russian bear clayface well i mean great fight we've, we've got set up here but the thing is here it is both guys had trouble making it into the the our conference finals of course russian fought our gong and uh, Gong gave him the biggest test that that anyone has seen in this whole uh, in, in this whole time so far in this tournament. And you got a guy like Spotten who just pulled off a huge upset against Me Metro, who who was also a season conference final. He was in the season two conference final, and then you have Rush in the season two w w winner. So. I mean, it could go either way, but unfortunately, I have to say Russian is just going to take this one. <laughs> just because I know it's Russian, he's dead, he's a machine, he, he can do a lot of damage. Indeed. Sparrow? Well, you know me, I like a good Cinderella story. And if you look back a few years ago, you know that uh, Spartan is currently on the track of what White Russian has been doing. So, you know, I think... I, I just want to say I want Spartan to win this. Realistically, it could really go either way. They've both been tested, and they've both succeeded, and this is probably going to be the best match here tonight, in my opinion. Alright, and now let's talk about what's going over on the other side of the conferences, the Soviet Russian, between Snakes, uh, in between Snake and Lears. Now, you've got Snake, who was the runner-up for the Sash Heavyweight Championship last season, although he only wanted the kickoff match against Balbi Skeet, a complete unknown, and then he got into the conference finals by Sensei Hugo forfeiting due to time scheduling issues with him. And then you've got Lears, a guy who was a substitute fighter, also a complete unknown, who then managed to beat the Boatsman another new fighter, and then Dwimmer, who shocked the world by beating Rabbit, who, granted, he was all the way in Finland, or he still is all the way over in Finland, so his ping did play a part in it, but 
you have it against the guy named, like Rabbit, who has a great reputation on ser trade servers with heavy boxing. And then Dwimmer came up against Lears, and Lears beat him three to zero, completely obliterated him. So you've got a guy who is the runner-up for the Sasha Village Championship against somebody who has a good track record in the NHBL so far. So it's really hard for me, especially because I personally think that Le that Lears, at least skill-wise, he is able to have this match, but experience-wise, I think it's going to go to Snake for this one. Clayface? Oh, now, let me just say, I really like Lears. I saw him fight in the the uh, kickoffs. I saw his match in the kickoffs. He did very well against the uh, Adrian, the Boatsman, and um, it, it really, he really you know, blew my mind in that match. Like, I really didn't expect him to, to pull off such an impressive win as he did. And then, of course, beating Dwimmer in the, in the divisionals, which is a whole new club to uh, the uh, boatsman, which is actually impressive. Considering this guy is a new guy, this is very impressive. And, of course, Snake, on the other hand, well, he's a great fighter. Snake, uh, he's a season three runner-up. And, um, you know, only losing to, we, we're going to be sneaky in Season 3. But, he yet again, Snake. He, 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 he knows what he's doing. He has the experience, as you said, for Fedora. He has the experience. And, unfortunately, uh, I actually think that his experience won't hel help him tonight. I don't think Leary is going to pull this off. Move! Now, to give a slight correction on your facts there, Lears did not fight in the kickoffs. He fought against Boatsman in one of the wildcard matches. Snake fought against Valbis Keep in the kickoffs. Oh, but uh, I thought the wild cards were part of the kickoff, but never mind. As I said, Lears won in the wild cards. I saw his wild card match. It was impressive. I thought the guy was impressive, and I think he's going to pull, pull this one off tonight. Sparrow? Uh, well, I, I've done my homework here in this matchup, and I've also been a part of this for three years, so uh, Snake, he is a pretty old veteran fighter. He really, I believe this is as far as he made it into the, into the Sasha World Heavyweight Championship, at least. But, uh, in my opinion, when I go back and look through his matches, I can really only think of one thing, and that's he would be better in the Chuck E. Cheese. I, I don't think he has what it takes to go up here and beat Spotten because I think Spotten is one of those guys who is just at the top of his game right now and he's been practicing for quite a bit and I really think that Spotten's going to be going to the World Championships here tonight. Indeed. Just a reminder of your sponsors, ladies and gentlemen. Season 4 of the National Heavy Boxing League is brought to you by Bonx Fun Box, one small box full of damn good fun. Time to Play Network, who is also hosting the current server we are on now. If it's time to play, let's play together. Please visit their server, The Ponytation, listed below the commentators box. New Traders on the Block. Feel like trading? Head on over to New Traders on the Block trade servers. The Equestrian Sentinels. For them. For us. For Equestria. Free TF2 weapons, giveaways, contests, and more. Give hard, cry later. TF2 Alliance, a collection of high-quality, ad-free TF2 communities. And by Taco Cat, where a man belongs. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we shall introduce tonight's referee. He has been a referee in the National Heavy Boxing League for three seasons. He ref the Sasha Heavyweight Championship back in Season 2. And he is certainly ready to give it his all tonight. Give it up for the one and only head referee, Disco DJ. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we shall introduce our Way Fighter Advantage. He was the first rookie to win the Sasha Heavyweight Championship in Season 2. 
and he was the runner-up for the conference finals in season three. He is certainly ready to go back to the Sasha Heavyweight Championship. Give it up for the one and only White Russian Bear. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we shall introduce our home fighter advantage. He beat Metro in the divisionals, and he beat Private Scrat in the wild cards. A newcomer to the National Levy Boxing League, who is certainly ready to go to the Sasha Heavyweight Championship. Give it up for the one and only Spot. And now for the portion of the show where we comment based on what they're wearing. Now, it's a hard decision. You have a white Russian bear over there who is representing very low-cut clothing to signify today's legalization of same-sex marriage in the United States. And then you have Spotten, who is wearing a beard, a Bill's hat, and his apocalypse. Honestly, just going at least by, it, it, it looks more like Spotten is experienced. He looks like the more experienced fighter. So I'm going to go with Spotten loadout wise. And once again, Russian showing his support to Spotten to be sport, have sportsmanship with a high five. Now, granted, there is a bug in Team Fortress 2 currently where sometimes you cannot accept a high five. But I am sure Spotten accepts it. Clayface, your opinion on their loadouts? Look, I mean, in terms of loadouts, Spotten definitely has the better loadout with a bit of build. Pat. And a, uh, a beard. And, uh, is that the what jacket? Is that is that the uh, the white moon warmer? Yeah, the white moon warmer. But the thing that I am most interested in is that he chooses the uh, the the different fist, the uh, poker fist. Now the last time I saw those fists in the ring, he, he won almost every match. So in terms of Fists, we got spotting with the high advantage. Russian, though, you can't count out Russian. He's an experienced boxer. I'm sure he's had much worse than a bunch of bunch of fists like that. But at the moment, I have to say, Spotten has the lowdown advantage. Indeed, Sparrow. Well, first you gotta look at White Russian Bear. He's the returning guy, and he's a veteran of this company. But you can see what he's wearing. It's it's little to nothing in all realisticality. He's he's wearing a bandana on his head instead of covering up his low cut shorts uh, or his very exposed shoulders right there. And you you see Spot, and he's actually wearing a long sleeve hoodie with a hat and his beard, which is covering up his chin. And I just look at these two guys and. Spotten is the guy that I would go to if I needed a boxer. I would just think that currently White Russian is a guy on the street who wants to take my money. Indeed. And now, we shall go down to the referee Disco DJ to kick round one of this best four out of seven fight. All right, fighters, return to your corners. To your corner, Briar. Ah, good sportsmanship. Corners. I will have order in my ring. <laughs> okay, dictatorship over. Welcome, one and all, to the conference finals of the Sasha Heavyweight Championship. 
today we have two matches for you lined up. Match first match being Spotin and White Russian Bear. And then our second match being Lairs and Snake. Is it Lairs? Crap, I can't. Lears. Lears. Ow. Careful. Too many of that and you'll be thrown out of the ring, my good friend. Now then. Today, I will have a good match. Remember, it is a four out of seven in this round. White Russian Bear, are you ready for this match? No? Well, be ready, because you're gonna be playing anyways. And Spotten. I'm not ready. What do I do, guys? Will I start the match? On my revolver, go! Round one begins of this fight. Which one will win the first round and get the menta mental victory? Looks as if the first punch is thrown by Russian. Spotten laying some punches in there. He's gonna have to be a little bit more conservative on his form. Russian Bear wins round one! It looked as if both of them had the same strategy of uh, wait for the opponent to punch first and then go in and punch. It looked as if that they were copying each other's strategies. But granted, Ru who wouldn't want to copy Russian Bear's strategy? It works for him every single time. Sparrow? Clayface? Well, I mean, Russian Bear, you, you just saw the experience there. He, he, he kind of backed him up into the ropes and just laid those one-two combos. You can clearly see he backed him up into the ropes and just manhandled him. This is what Russian is best at. He just get, he gets inside of you and he pounds you inside of you. Indeed. Season 4 of the National Heavy Boxing League is brought to you by Bonk's Fun Box. One small box full of damn good fun. New traders on the block. Feel like trading? Head on over to New Traders on the Block trade servers. And now we shall go back to Disco DJ for round two. Alright boys. On to round two. That's a good first round. Keep up the fight. There, are you ready? Sutton, are you ready? Then let us begin. Round two. Looks like Russian is waiting for the first punch to be thrown by Spotten. More movement heading around. Spotten gets the first punch in there. Russian seeming a bit hesitant on form. Spotten lays more punches in. Russian freezes. Looks like there's a little bit of Russian wins round two. And once again, we see Russian Bear exemplifying that amazing strategy of wait for the opponent to punch first and then continue to punch. Even with the slight lag spike that he had and he had a second ago, he still managed to be able to win this match. Sparrow, do you think that that was an amazing feat? What about you, Clayface? Oh, at the moment, Russian is proving why he she should be here in this conference final right now. He's just showing everything he has to show. Uh, as you saw in as you, see, as you saw in that round, Russian had a little bit of a lag spike, and he almost had had he was he was almost knocked out. But he came back from that lag spike, and he fifth and he finished him. Just absolutely clubbed him. Right to the now. commentators, Bang. back to the ring, please. We have a complaint from Spotten. Oh, sorry. What's going? No, what's going on, Spotten? Come here, baby. Shouldn't he be complaining to the ref? Come here, baby. The guy looks like I drew my punch as soon as, like, right before he like on um, the spike to my left. As to like, I don't really think the rounds count, but, but it's his call. If, but dude, it's your call if you wanted the count or not. Disco? Come on! And I'm talking about you, I'm talking about this guy, Russian. Uh, it's your call if you want the round, the count or not. Russian Bear, are you willing to do another round for round two? Alright then, we shall redo round two for a fair fight. Oh, here we go, now it's on. Oh, the heavy cracks his skull a little bit. That may affect Russian in this match. 
Let me just say, right, Fedor, is... is this the first time that this, this kind of thing has ever, has ever happened? You have to repeat him out. Oh, no, we have had several times in the past where fighters have asked to repeat because of a lag spike. Alright then, replaying round two, Spotten, are you ready? It's not possible! White Russian bear. Very well! I am charged! He's ready? Oh no. Fire! Round two restarts after that lag spike. Will Spotten be able to win this round, or will Russians just dominate him even more? Punch is thro being thrown. Looks like Spotten's taking a little bit more conservative approach. Spotten wins round two! Oh, wow! I guess Spotten was right about that lag spike affecting him. It is now tied. Spotten is the second person this to beat Russian Bear in this match. That was an amazing feat. Sparrow, what do you think? Well, as I said, I think Spotten is the fresh blood that this company needed, and he's pulling white Russians. You know, he was able to beat hardcore veterans, and he was able to come back whenever he was needed. And that's why I Wait think a second. that Spotten can finish up. Why does he have a sandwich in front of his face? It's just right, that clay face. Hmm. Now this this just got a whole lot of interesting. I I really don't know who it's gonna go to now. After seeing that round, it really looked like Spotten would have would have won the second round if Russian did not have that lag spike. Who knows if if this is gonna continue? This is very interesting. I, I think I think. Russia needs to, to win this next round to feel much more comfortable than he is in this right now. Season 4 of the National Envy Boxing League is brought to you by Time to Play Network, the host of the server we're on now. If it's time to play, let's play together. Visit their server, The Ponytation, at the IP listed below the commentator box. And by the Equestrian Sentinels. For them, for us, for Equestria. And now we shall go back down to Disco DJ for round 3. Round three, boys. Let's keep up the fight. Remember, it is four out of seven. If you can last that long. White Russian bear. I think he has a concussion. paying attention to you. Swatton, are you ready? Then let us begin. Round three. A nice spin move by Russian. I think that sandwich on his head is making him think crazy thoughts. Another spin move by Spartan didn't really involve a punch there. But both punches have been thrown with Russian laying the first punch. Still movement going around. Will Spartan be another punch? Russian wins round three. Again, we see even with Russian getting two concussions from falling flat on his back, it seems as though he has been able to come out and win another round. Doesn't look like Russian is quite out of this yet. What do you think, Clayface? Well, this is a great fight. This is one of the best I've seen. Look, Russian, after he win, after he won that round, I feel that Russian is probably feeling a lot more confident now, and he's going to come out much more stronger than he was last round. Spotten has to be very, be very careful of this. Otherwise, Russian will just destroy him every single round. This is what it, this is what Spotten must do. He must just seriously pick him apart from the outside. Do not let Russian get in inside. He will manhandle you. Indeed, Sparrow. Well, you know what I saw in that match was I saw that Spotten got a little too hectic. You know, he wanted to show up a little. That match was even, and you know the series could go either way. And wanted to put a little style in his step, and that kind of cost him a free punch to the face, and that was the end. And what he was going for was, if I sorry, we must be having some technical difficulties on Sparrow's side. Season four of the National Levy Boxing League is brought to you by TF2 Alliance, a collection of high-quality, ad-free TF2 communities. And by free TF2 weapons, giveaways, contests, and more. Give hard, cry later. And now we should go back down to Disco for round four. Alright, 
Alright boys, we are on to round four. Spotted, are you ready? Yes! Alright, Russian bear. Put dispenser here. Put dispenser indeed. Begin! Let us wrestle, little man. Round four begins. Punches have been thrown have not been thrown yet. Sandvich flipping out all over his face. First punch thrown by Spotten. Looks like Russian is getting a little bit more intense on the hitting there. Will Spotten be able to come out on top of this? It's all up to him. You control your own fate in heavy boxing. Still punches being thrown. Russian wins round four. Only one more round, and Russian will advance to the Sasha Heavyweight Championship for his second time in his NHBL career. Clayface, honestly, seeing this match and seeing that Spotten managed to still win one round, do you think that there is any chance for Spotten to recover from this? Because if he wants to win this match, he has to win three, ma three rounds in a row to make it back. Do you think that he has a chance? Yes, he has a high chance. He must pick pick Russian apart from the outside. As you saw in this last round and the past few rounds, Russian has has completely backed Spotten up into the, the ring the ring ropes. You must, I repeat, you must not get close to Ray Russian Bear. He will destroy you with the one two combos and and he will force you against the ropes. He must, I repeat, he must pick him apart from the outside. Yes. In your response, yes, it is very possible. Very, very possible. Season 4 of the National Levy Boxing League is brought to you by Taco Cat, where a man belongs. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we shall go down to Disco DJ for round 5. Round 5, boys. Let us continue this match. Spot in. Are you ready for round 5? Russian return to your corner. It's not possible. <laughs> and are you ready for round five? Yes. Well, too bad. Begin. Go, go, go. Round five begins. We'll in this match, or will Russian obliterate his dreams? Russian lands the first punch. Spotten looking a little bit more hesitant there. He hasn't even laid a single punch on him. Still waiting for another punch. Like Russian laid another punch down. Spotten stays in his corner. Wait a minute. Looks like there may be a lag spike on his end. Oh, oh, wait a second. He has said he's given up. Finish the match. Wait a second. It looks like Spotten is saying he's giving up on the match. He's not, and Russian has stayed and is waiting for him to punch or something. Spotten, are you forfeiting this match? No! Freaking unbelievable! He says he's not forfeiting this ma match. I think he's waiting for Russian to punch him and end it. Ooh, a punch thrown, a jump late. And Russian there will advance to the Sasha Heavyweight Championship for the second time in his career. That was a very amazing feat. Seeing Russian, he came in, he did exactly what everyone thought he was going to do, and most importantly, he laid down everything that he had. And now, he will advance to the Sasha Heavyweight Championship. Now, we shall go down to the sideline interview with Clayface and the newest victor, White Russian Bear. Thank you, Fedora. Now, Fedora, if you don't remember, I've had some serious uh, bad luck with the sideline after uh, commentary for, for the past few matches, but I've got a feeling Russian will give me the responses I like. Now, Russian, great fight. What was your feeling when you, you had the lag spike, you won that round, and then Spotten asked for the rematch, and he came back, and he beat you in that, re in the, in that replay round. What was your feeling about that round? Your microphone's not working, Russian. Oh my god. Stupid, shaky. There we go. Not good. Stupid, Thank stupid, you. stupid. Yeah, so Russian, as I was saying, what was your your you know, your feeling about that round where Spotten won, uh, he, he he came back and he and he beat you in that 
in that replay round to make it one one all uh, 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 after you had the last spike. Uh, felt kind of shaky, scared. Did I just hear you were scared? Wow, that's impressive. At least Spotten, at least Spotten gave you one for your money. Now, uh, Vashin, you're now going into your second, um, uh, final for the NHBL. What's your feeling about uh, tonight's match, of course, between Snake and Leary's? I think I have a good now. What the hell was that crap? That's good, but, I mean, of course, Snake, he made it into the final last year, and of course, Leary is a newcomer, which he had trouble with tonight. Of course, uh, Spotten did pretty impressively. Oh, okay, Stu, what is your feeling about stupid, those two? Stupid, just Dustin Bioli, just Snake personally, I, I know he's a, he's a great fighter. What do you what think about Snake, if Snake wins it? Uh... Potato? Alright, uh, and then of course Leary is of course, he, he's a newcomer, no, uh, Spotten, you had trouble with Spotten, you're also a newcomer, but uh, what do you think about Leary, um, also a newcomer? Sucks on ice. Uh, 21. Alright, uh, Fedora, back to you, I think I'm done here, cheers. Alright, thank you. And now ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Sp Green Sparrow has informed me he has had a power outage, but we have substituting in the one and only Mindless Gonzo, fam uh, famous YouTuber. Gonzo, thank you for subbing in for us on short notice. It's a great pleasure. Uh, it's great to be here, uh, even though I was just merely spectating, but uh, I'll be happy to substitute for the Green Sparrow when he's dealing with his uh, problems on his end. Okay, now let me ask you. So next match that we're about to see is in between Snake and Lears. So Snake was the runner-up for the Sasha Heavyweight Championship last season. And then you have a guy like Lears who not only, ha as I forgot to mention in the pre-commentating show, ladies and gentlemen, he is in competitive TF2 gaming. He's on a UGC Highlander team. Uh, Lears, you, Lears, if you could type the name of that, I'll mention it in a bit, but I don't remember the name off the top of my head. But you have Lears, a guy who, no, a guy who is in UGC competitive gaming, as well as he has not lost a single round against the one and only Snake, the runner-up of the Sasha Heavyweight Championship. Your thoughts? Uh, sorry, uh, some of the ideas are swimming in my head as to what kind of a people uh, we are dealing with, but. Um, <laughs> I've been trying to keep an eye on this, but uh, yikes. Yeah, I've seen how both of these players will work, and I'm hoping that um, we can see just as good as they were in the previous rounds as they are in this round. Indeed. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we shall introduce our weight fighter advantage for the Soviet Russian Heavy Boxing Conference Final. He was the runner up for the Sasha Heavyweight Championship last season, falling short to Wu Gotta Be Sneaky. He is certainly ready to come back to the Sasha Heavyweight Championship and win. Give it up for the one, the only, Snake. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we shall introduce our home fighter advantage for this conference final. He is on a United Gaming Clan Highlander team. He has also not lost a single round in the National Heavy Boxing League this season. Give it up for the one, the only, Lears. And once again, commentating on their loadouts, I'm going to have to give it to Snake for loadout-wise. I mean, he's got the more fierce-looking loadout, he's got the Apoco Fist and that Skyrim helmet, and then you compare that to a guy who just has slick blonde hair. 
I mean, it's got to go to Snake for this one. Look uh, I'm afraid you're kind of wrong on that one. That is no ordinary blonde hair. That is the look of Brock Samson, which screams utterly high testosterone, highly dangerous. Seriously, someone you should not mess with at all. I seriously would have to give it. I seriously do have to give it to both of them, as they are both intimidating. You do make a valid point, but my faith is still in Snake. Clayface? Gonzo, uh, I must agree with you. That is just not slick blonde hair. I have to agree. That is some testosterone shit right there, man. That, that is some sick hair. I have to agree with you. And he's got some nice sunglasses on. So, I mean, it looks very good. However, Snake, he's, he's got the more fierce look, as Fedora mentioned. You can see the sky helmet, and he's got those big pants and that... And that massive, uh, that massive jacket, whatever he's got on there, and he looks, a little, he looks a lot more like intimidating, really. Like seriously, if you put me in that ring right now, I would shit my pants. Seeing Snake across the ring, seriously, I, I would be very scared. So in terms of loadout, I gotta go with the Snake. But in terms of who's gonna win the fight, I have to go with Leary's. Unfortunately, Leary's gonna win this fight. I have a feeling. Indeed. Season 4 of the National Levy Boxing League is brought to you by Bonks Fun Box. One small box full of damn good fun. New traders on the block. Feel like trading? Head on over to New Traders on the Block trade servers. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we shall go down to our referee, Disco DJ, for round one of the final conference final. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the second match of today. Today we have Lairs versus Snake to become the finalist for the Sasha Heavyweight Finals. Lairs, are you ready for the first round of seven? And you, Snake, are you ready for your first round? Then, by the sound of my revolver, we begin the first round. Round begins. Both straight out charge at each other. Looks as if Snake is getting a little bit more punch. Snake wins round one! And the even did I just get laid? I seriously didn't think they would last this short. I mean, yikes. The, the L's two just went out swinging. Indeed, they just straight out charged at each other, went down the middle of the ring, and did not have any hesitation. They're going away from the strategy of let the opponent punch first. No, they are going straight in and punching each other. And it looks as if with that strategy, Snake has come out on top. Clayface? Oh, I mean, that was completely wrong on my behalf. I, I actually think... I thought Leary was going to win that, but no. Snake proves you. Last year, he he was the runner-up of the Season 3. It just shows you how much experience this guy has. And now, he's looking to make it to the to the second consecutive final that he will, he will be in. Look, at the moment, Snake is the heavy favorite, as you just saw. But still, do not count out Leary's. He looks like he's going to do some serious damage, though. I think Leary's... My, my, my take a round or two from Snake. Oh, I really feel that way. Indeed, as well as if Snake are, is to win this match today, he will be the first person in the National Heavy Boxing League to go to two consecutive Sasha Heavyweight Championships. So he will set a record if he wins this match. And he's already setting a record as the second consecutive person to go to the... Correction, no. He is the first. He is the second person to go to the sec, to a consecutive conference final, but behind Russian Bear for getting that last season. I agree. Season four of the National Levy Boxing League is brought to you by Time to Play Network, the server host of the server on right now. If it's time to play, let's play together. Visit their server, The Ponytation, at the IP address listed below the commentator's box. And by the Equestrian Sentinels. For them. For us. For Equestria. And now we shall go back down to Disco DJ for round two. Round two, boys. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Lairs, are you ready for round two? Yes! Snake. <laughs> Wicked! <laughs> then, let us begin. Yeah. Round two begins. Looks like Snake taking a bit of a box strategy, going around the edges of the ring. Both of them straight on with each other punches. Lairs wins round two! 
And again, we see an amazing feat by both fighters, charging straight out, punching each other, and not hesitating whatsoever. It was almost as when Gong faced in the wild cards against Armor Davidson. When they faced each other, Gong straight out charged at him and landed every single punch. Lear's almost I'm had that. A, I'm afraid we got a slight bit of a problem with, with Lear's. Ooh. Well, Lears, Lears is ping right now. It says 74 and 75. So it looks like he's fine. But anyway, so Gonzo, seeing this match and seeing them wailing their punches at each other, you still have you still have your faith in the one and only Lears? I'm starting to uh, pretty much just play the Joker here and actually go for it. Uh, Snake, he seems to be ha knowing what to do, even though he kind of fluffed up on the... Uh, the recent round. However, I still believe Snake will be able to uh, win this. Clayface? Said a lot, just, just exactly what I said. Leary's has some serious power behind those hands. He is a destructive fighter. He's, I have good faith in him that he can pull this off against Snake. However, this round, this round really is going to be a hard to get round because both men have taken the first and second round so it's currently one all and now it's gonna have to be really a push to make it 2-1 it's gonna be a hell of a fight and I think Leary has to just really do the same what he had to do because you see Snake's body is completely like contract with the ropes as you can see there Leary has to push him against the ropes again I reckon that's his tactic Indeed. Season 4 of the National Heavy Boxing League is brought to you by free TF2 weapons, giveaways, contests, and more. Give hard, cry later. And now we shall go down to Disco DJ for round 3. Round 3, seeing pretty even so far. Bears, are you ready? Very well. Snake. No, seriously, you all suck. Then, round 3. Fight! Round three begins. Snake, the first one to move. Looks like they're trying slow movements here. I'm not sure what this their strategy is going at. <laughs> Wait a second. Let's go. Let's we have a croucher. This is a sudden turn, especially considering the first couple of rounds. They're going more cautious than before. Is it because Indeed. they probably have a lot more on the line this round than before? I'm not sure. Punches still be thrown. Lears oh. wins round three! And again, if the, we see them switching up their strategies and making sure to be unpredictable. Lears managed to win that round and show to Snake, you are not going to be able to cope my strategy, and you are going to have to toughen up if you have any chance at me. Clayface? Oh, oh my god. Unbelievable. Lears. As I said, he has those power. Now, Liz, uh, during that round, he, he, he went inside again. He, he, I reckon he's got more power over Snake. He, he, he hits harder. As you, as you saw, Snake just got destroyed in, the, in, in those last few encounters with the up front oh, with the 1-2. But, at the moment, it's still anyone's game. Snake could still come back, but at the moment, Liz is looking like... The, Looking like the man is gonna take a this. Indeed, Gonzo. I'm starting to believe that this uh, is starting to becoming one of those Cinderella stories, where it looks like Beers might have had some problems at the start, but he's start, but he's slowly making his way up. He's slowly becoming a uh, much more of a formidable opponent than Snake thought he could be. Indeed, season four of the National Heavy Boxing League. Brought to you by TF2 Alliance, a collection of high-quality, ad-free TF2 communities. And now we shall go back down to Disco DJ for round four. Well I'm dying here. Ah! Yeah, Remember, the ring is for competitors and referees only. <laughs> now then, round four. Let's keep up the bloodshed. Lairs, are you ready? Go, go, go. Snake. Well. Go. Then let us begin. Round four begins. Referee cloaks. Not even a single movement from the ring. What's going on here? Move. Heavy is 
feel like somebody may need to nudge them a little bit. What's Stay going down. on here? Stay down. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Now we're in that hey, Look, right now, if I was Leary's, I would go right in for that attack. Third crouch. You could have easily got him there. Yes. Looks as if they're trying to be a little bit less movement. First punch was thrown by Lears. More punches being laid. Lears wins round four! Holy hell, what a hell of a Cinderella story! It seems as if we, it seems as if Snake may not be allowed to come uh, or may not be allowed to go on to the Sasha Heavyweight Championship because he needs to be able to get him, uh, get himself to be a better fighter in this match. It looks as if Lears is trying to do a better. Wait a second. Boo! Snake has noticed that. Lears, you have crouched huh. approximately four times during this match. Remember that crouching and jumping huh. are not allowed in the Sasha Heavyweight Championship. Should we redo the match then? Hmm. Refere referee, what do you think? If the fighters are in agreement, we will we will go back to a 1-1 match to where the jump to the crouching first started. Okay. So it was it is now the match has been updated to 1-2-1. One, one. And we will start over round 3. Oh. Uh, let's hope that the parties are let's hope that both parties play fair and square. Otherwise, this would be a very bad match. A bit of controversy, yeah, basically. Indeed. Now we should go back down to Disco DJ for round three. All right, boys. Now that we know the rules, reinstated and all that, let us begin round three. Lairs. Snake. Begin. Round three begins after the crouching. Punches have been thrown using the same strategy. Lears wins round three. Door. I just think give it to Lears by now at this point. Lears has been absolutely destroying Snake these last few rounds. And if the fight if the fight was not restarted, Lears would have been the winner at this very moment. However, the fight has been restarted, so it's still anyone's game. It's still anyone's game at the moment. Well, uh, who, know, who knows? If if Lears can keep up his top form, he certainly looks like he's in top form. If he can keep this up, he has this victory in the bag. But as Clayface has said, it's still anybody's game. So so let's just see what happens. Indeed, and especially seeing that even after they revoked two rounds for the crouching, he still is managing win and still has that same fire he had in the beginning. Snake will have to step it up if he wants to have any chance at winning this match. Season 4 of the National Levy Boxing League is brought to you by Taco Cat, where a man belongs. And now back down to Disco DJ for round 4. Let us begin round 4, boys. There's Snake. Speed round, go! Round four begins. Lears with the advantage. Both have Apocalypse and both ready to punch. Waiting for the first punch to be thrown. Thrown by Lears. Both equal punches. Snake! Luke falls and Lears wins round four! Well. Oh, man, I'm speechless, really. I, as I said, Lears just... He's, he's just manhandling Snake at this point. He's a man. Let me just say this right now. Leary's a, a newcomer to the National Heavy Boxing League. is manhandling the season three runner runner up. That that's all I have to say. That's truly all I have to say at, at this point. It just shows you anything can happen. You must never trust the odds. It is a truly, a truly a no man's land in the in the heavy boxing uh, community. I'm just shocked by it all, man. I'm surprised that Lears has managed to redeem himself after two disqualified rounds. I'm just surprised he managed to still keep his head in the game, stay in top form, and managed to outdo Snake. Indeed. Season 4 is brought to you by Bonk's Fun Box, one small box full of damn good fun. And now we shall go down to Disco DJ for round 5. 
We have a request from the boxers that the next rounds be uncommentated. I'm sorry? Yes! They require... Lairs has dinner coming up. He would like the rounds to be uncommentated and sped run throughout the last until the final match has been re reached. All right. We will not commentate in between. We will just do the play-by-play -play commentary. All right, boys. Let us begin speed round. I would talk like an auctioneer, but then I would lose my voice. Lairs, are you ready? Snake, let us go. Round... Four, excuse me, round five begins. Punch is thrown, and Lairs wins, and will head to the Sasha Heavyweight Championship to face the only white Russian bear. Again, we see Lears have an amazing victory, and, uh, and we will see another rookie head to the Sasha Heavyweight Championship. To quote James Baxter, one of our commentators, I just love the underdog stories. Clayface. Yes, as Baxter quoted, I, you love the underdog stories, that is correct. You never know what can happen in in the National Heavy Boxing League. This just shows you right there, Lears, a newcomer to the National Heavy Boxing League, has now taken out a season 3 run up and, and now will meet White Russian Bay in the final. Indeed, and now we should go down to the sideline interview with Lears, the new victor of the Soviet Russian Heavy Boxing Conference with Mine Lisconzo. Uh, Lears, Lears, over here. Uh, Lears? Tell me, what was your secret to success for these rounds? <laughs> okay. I'm this is actually quite an interesting match. Despite you having crouched two rounds, which made them void, you still managed to win, even with those disqualifications. I'm, so, I'm just utterly... Uh... Uh... Ooh. There goes Le There goes Lears. I, uh... Okay. There he is. Am I supposed to continue now? Yes, continue, he said. Oh, there you are. Did the, uh, did the two disqualified rounds affect you in any sort of way? <laughs> He's relating every question back to food, I see. I'll just, I'm gonna go ahead and let you get on with your food. Great job winning this round. Now, uh, can somebody get me out of here? Ah, uh, yes. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we will see you, ladies and gentlemen, before we leave, a few notes to tell you. Tomorrow, we will see Lears representing the Soviet Russian Heavy Boxing Conference against White Russian Bear representing the National Heavy Boxing Conference in the fourth Sasha Heavyweight Championship of the National Heavy Boxing League. Tune in at 6 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Central exclusively on Dr. Batman PhD's Hitbox.tv channel. And be sure to watch the, the Bronx Unbox for Sasha Heavyweight Championship Halftime Show, presented by Daft Punk. And ladies and gentlemen, we'd also like to answer, our, uh, we'd also like to remind you of our sponsors. Season 4 of the National Heavy Boxing League is brought to you by Bronx Fun Box, one small box full of damn good fun. Time to Play Network, the host of the server we on right now. If it's time to play, let's play together. Visit their server, The Ponytation, at the IP listed below the commentator's box. New Traders on the Block. Feel like trading? Head on over to New Traders on the Block trade servers. The Equestrian Sentinels. For them. For us. For Equestria. Free TF2 weapons, giveaways, contests, and more. Give hard. Cry later. TF2 Alliance. A collection of high-quality, ad-free TF2 communities. And by Taco Cat, where a man belongs. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching tonight's coverage of the concert, conference finals, and we hope to see you tomorrow for the fourth Sasha Heavyweight Championship. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you, and good night. Yeah.